If you saw my recent M2 Max MacBook Pro review, you might have noticed these widgets on my desktop. A few of you have asked me what those were, and so I figured why not just make a video about them. To be clear, this isn't sponsored by any means. I just randomly discovered this app on SetApp, which is a monthly subscription service for Mac applications, but you do not need to be subscribed to that service to get this app. You can just go to the app's website, which is amicoapps.com, I believe. I'll have the link down in the description. You can Try it out for free before deciding whether you want to purchase it or not. Also, if you end up liking this video, please subscribe. We're gonna have far more videos like this where I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and apps and things that I really enjoy. And then obviously any Apple devices that are out or any Apple news will cover. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Now the app is called Widget Wall, which again, you can check out by going to amicoapps.com. The link will be in the description. But once you have it all downloaded and you open it up, it'll start automatically putting widgets on your desktop. It's an incredibly easy app to get up and running. So the widgets will just kind of start out on the left, but of course you can drag them whenever and wherever you'd like on your desktop. Now they do have a little bit of a snap to it, kind of, uh, you know, iOS and iPad OS esque. They're very inspired by that. So you'll get, uh, you know, a limitation on the size. It's small, medium, and larger boxes of widgets. But once you figure out which widget you want, you can customize certain elements by clicking on the ellipsis of each box in the upper right corner. Each widget will have different settings depending on what it is, but almost all of them will have the ability to let you change the text or box color, the size, the location, and whether you wanted to pin that widget to the top of your screen, meaning that widget will be seen over any app that you might have open, even in full screen. So if you need to see something at all times, you can have it pinned to your desktop. So what are some of the widgets that you can have on your desktop? Unfortunately, there's not like a whole lot of them right now, but the ones that are available are still pretty nice and useful. You'll have your standard array of widgets like a clock widget, a weather widget, calculator, calendar, and music, but also some interesting options like ChatGPT widget, which I think is just a browser widget that's specific to ChatGPT, uh, but whatever. I mean, whenever it does let you use the service, it does work pretty well, uh, but then you have a browser widget so that you can customize and add any website to your desktop in that widget form for quick access. Maybe you can put macrumors.com. Uh, you can have a row of favorite apps, making the doc something a little bit less useful and making this widget maybe more useful for accessing those apps quickly. There's a photo widget, a much better looking sticky note widget with proper checklist functionality, and you can even see your Mac's key performance stats at a quick glance. Now, personally, I'm a pretty big fan of the music widget, and I love that it works with Apple Music and Spotify, which you can toggle in the left corner of the widget, and it shows you the proper playback controls and everything that you might need, and also the album artwork, which I really do like the look of. Um, I like the calendar app, too, so you kind of have that at all times. Maybe that one would be something you might want to pin on your desktop. Um, I just think this is a pretty great way to get widgets on your Mac for those who want widgets on your Mac. Now, thankfully, you can try it for free, but if you decide to purchase this directly from the developer, it is $9.99 a year, not a month, $9.99 for the whole year. So that's 83 cents a month, which I definitely did the math using the calculator widget. Um, and so it's much more reasonable if you break it down that way. Uh, and it's definitely reasonable if you plan to actually use these on a daily basis. And uh, if the developer can actually add some unique options or other popular third-party apps maybe in the future, uh, that would be really cool. But for those of you who have a set app subscription, again, you can rejoice. This app is available with your subscription. So what do you think about Widget Wall? Are you going to give it a shot? Let me know in the comments down below. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.